the bold insignia will proclaim to the enemy that this is the proud new weapon of the United States Army Air Forces. But it is our plane too, because we the people built it. We conceived it, financed it, gave it wings. We powered it and armed it, and our sons and brothers fly it. The function of the people's super fortress is to break the race who turn their backs on reason, to spin them around to face the peaceful way of living. It is the people's answer to all the sneak raids, all the death marches, all the stabs in the back. It is our memorial to the fighting men who were not afraid to die, who fought with their lives at the time we needed to make the weapons to win the war. Like this weapon, which 50 hours after its tests will be landing in India or China or some other far away Shangri-La to regain its breath before the final assault for which the people destined it. Within the plant, work proceeds. But the workers cock their ears for a sound that regularly drowns the clatter of their tools. It is more than a sound. It is a song. This is the song they hear. The story begins in 1939, when the far-sighted Army Air Forces said, We want a plane for our defense that can fly a bomb load thousands of miles out to sea and return. After six months' work, there was a tiny model, which spent the next six months in a wind tunnel. And then there was a full-scale model, which was subjected to every punishment man could devise for it. Only after a year of such tests, did the Air Forces let contracts for planes that would be built to fight. The B-25 Mitchell is a big strapping bomber, 67 feet across the wings, but it could reach Japan only if it took off from an aircraft carrier. Much bigger is the famed B-17 Fortress. 104 feet from wingtip to wingtip, it has ranged 1,400 miles over Japan's island conquest but it cannot reach Japan itself from any base we now hold. The Super Fortress, wingspan 141 feet, longer than the Wright's first flight through the air at Kitty Hawk. Range, altitude, and bomb load, secret. Though the Air Forces do save them laconically. Very long, very high, and very large. Because it is a global bomber, around it has been built an entire new air force, the 20th. The 20th War Theater is the world itself. Its operations room is the war room of the Chiefs of Staff in Washington. Its planes will be treated as a major task force, in the same manner as a naval task force is directed against a specific objective. Watch it come in for a landing revolutionary set of flaps that constitutes nearly one-fifth of the wing area gives the ship a low landing speed and a shorter landing run than many a plane half its size. All this great weight of super fortress is supported by a tricycle gear whose tires require less pressure than a child's bicycle. Somewhere in western China, half a million nameless people wrote their magnificent chapter in the saga of the Super Fortress. 
Two thousand years after their ancestors built the Great Wall for the defense of China, these farmers transformed saturated rice paddies into airfields for offense against a new invader. They had no machinery as we know it, only their million hands and a searing memory of anguished years since Japan set out to annihilate them. Stone by stone, layer after layer, bound together not just with muddy water, but with the blood of their brothers who died under the samurai sword. And soon there were runways to bear the weight of a whole fleet of super fortresses. Revenge for the nameless people was close at hand. Even in China, land of miracles, the arrival of the super fortress is an occasion for everyone to turn out in curiosity and in welcome. A welcome now, but journey's end on the other side of the globe is only the beginning of another, grimmer journey. The tanks will have to be filled, the engines given a final check, the guns armed, the bombs set in the racks, and then briefing. And the assembled airmen will listen to words that a few years ago would have been fantastic, but today roll casually off a briefing officer's lips. The target, gentlemen, is Japan. Japan.